Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Today's topic, flesh eating bacteria or flesh eating disease. The disease is also known as necrotizing fasciitis. So let's begin. We all know bacteria can be beneficial as well as can be harmful for living beings. If we see the disadvantages of bacteria, there are various adverse diseases caused by them. Among all those diseases, there is one element where bacteria start to eat host body flush from inside. The disease is known as flush eating disease in medical terminology. It is called necrotizing fasciitis. Here, necrotizing means damage and death of tissue. Fasciitis is combination of two words. Fascia is tissue layer situated below the skin which covers fat, muscles and nerves. Itis means inflammation. So, fasciitis means inflammation of tissue. Flash eating disease is rare but it is severe and fatal bacterial infection. About 1 out of 4 people who get this infection die from it. Causative agent the disease is caused by group A streptococcus. The leading cause is streptococcus pyogenes bacteria. Other bacteria that can also cause the disease are Staphylococcus, Pseudomonas, Clostridium, or Vibrio. Sometimes all these bacteria together can cause the disease. So agent can be monomicrobial or polymicrobial. How people get the disease? Bacteria always present on the skin and usually they are harmless. But if there is abrasion on skin via minor cut, insect bite, burns, bacteria get inside the body and cause the infection. When there is an opening on skin and person is handling raw seafood, meat items, dirty water, sea water, then also bacteria get the opportunity to go inside the body and cause the infection. So there are many ways bacteria can get in and cause the disease. Risk factors Some people are more susceptible for infection like person with a weak immune system, diabetic person, Person with chronic health problems such as cancer, liver or kidney disease. Person who uses steroid medicines which can lower the body's resistance to infection. The one who have cuts in the skin including surgical wounds. Person who recently had chicken pox or other viral infection that cause a rash is also on the risk. What happens when bacteria enters in the body? Most of the bacteria usually present on skin. But when they get the opportunity, they enter via skin opening, go deeper and reach to the facial layer of skin. Once bacteria reach to the facial layer, they release toxin. And toxin damages nerves, muscles and soft tissues present under facial layer. Thus, it is called flash eating disease. This is the diagram of skin layers before and after the infection. You can see how damaging bacterial toxin can be. Bacterial toxin destroyed all the layers completely including tissues, muscles and nerves. Normally, infected site is full of white blood cells like neutrophils that send the signals to immune system that something is wrong and immune system becomes active. But in necrotizing fasciitis case, neutrophils could not reach to the affected area and become silent. Therefore, bacteria easily evade the immune system and spread in other tissues. Symptoms Infected area becomes red or purple, warm and inflamed. Extreme out of proportion, severe pain, fever. As disease progresses, rash converts into brown black lesion. Bacteria go into bloodstream and cause sepsis. Bacteria release toxin in the blood and cause toxic shock syndrome. In this condition, blood pressure shoots up, higher chances of multiple organ failure and ultimately death. Most commonly affected body parts are limbs and groin area. For diagnosis, these steps are followed. First is blood test. At early stage of the disease, X-ray of soft tissues. As disease progresses, CT scan and MRI scan. For definitive diagnosis, in seasonal exploration or biopsy of a lesion. Treatment. Surgery is almost always needed. Most people need several surgeries to control the infection, removal of limbs or infected body parts, medicines such as antibiotics. These kill the bacteria causing the infection. 
blood pressure and other organs function monitoring and hyperbaric oxygen therapy prevention good hygiene practices hand wash before handling food diabetic person should be careful about extremities of cuts and wounds immunocompromised person should be very careful not to get infections person with liver and kidney diseases also take extreme precautions liver patient should avoid eating seafood there may be chances of vibrio vulnificus infection liver patient should also not have any infections or cuts in the skin exposed to warm sea water when in the hospital surgeon and caregivers should take extreme care during the surgery and treating wounds and cuts necrotizing fasciitis is not usually contagious however it is possible for uninfected people to physically come into contact with some patient with the disease and become infected with an organism that may eventually cause necrotizing fasciitis